Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU. The check rein jailbreak has been out for some time now. Able to jailbreak up to 13.2.3, the latest public firmware, and even 13.3 beta. But where is it for Windows? In today's video, we're going to be answering that question and why development for Windows is so much more complex than for Mac OS. Yo, uh, coming in. Coming in Yo, flex. I just want to win. Today's video is brought to you by Surfshark VPN, where for Black Friday, you can save 83% on your first month and get three extra months entirely for free. Now, before we really delve into this too much, I wanted to say that down below in the description, you guys are gonna find a link to our Windows jailbreak status checker page, just like the one we had for iOS 13 itself. This page actually contains the current status of whether or not there's a jailbreak that supports your hardware, in this case, Windows. So as you can see, it says no in red. That red no will actually change to a green yes once the jailbreak is out and it will contain download links and a link to the tutorial. So bookmark that URL, again, the very first one down below in the description. All right, so to start off, first of all, let's provide a recap. We're able to jailbreak iOS 13, as I mentioned, on the latest firmwares. We'll be able to forever for the lifetime of the devices that are supported, which again are up to the iPhone 10. Now, there are going to be other jailbreaks in the future that work on the latest devices that don't even need a computer. But for now, you do unfortunately need a Mac. You cannot do this on Windows. And that's the entire topic of today's video. Is Windows coming? When is it coming? And why is it so difficult? Because even though the majority of people neither have a laptop nor a desktop computer in this post PC day and age, the majority of individuals who do have a computer have Windows. It's been that way for years. So with that in mind, why wouldn't the jailbreak developers actually target Windows for the first release of CheckRain? That way the majority of people would be able to take advantage of it and jailbreak iOS 13. That's a fantastic question. One that I get asked so often. But see, if you're thinking of it that way, you're looking at it the wrong way. Although CheckRain is intended for us end users, non-tweak developers, really it's actually made for security researchers. Because think about it, CheckRain provides a permanent jailbreak environment and complete control over the system, which empowers security researchers and allows them to do their work that much easier. This jailbreak is really for security researchers and new jailbreaks will actually come of CheckRain as a direct result of it. Researchers will be able to discover new kernel vulnerabilities that jailbreak developers will then be able to implement into their utilities. It's going to be fantastic. And the majority of iOS security researchers actually have a Mac. Furthermore, it's literally harder to create this thing for Windows. So although the majority of people have Windows, security researchers have Mac OS, it's easier to develop it for Mac OS. And those two things things in conjunction have led us to a current Mac only check rain jailbreak for iOS 13. That's the reason it's specific for Mac OS right now. Now we're going to get into some tweets and additional information on this in just a second. But speaking of additional, in addition to 83% off your first month of Surfshark, you'll get three additional months entirely for free for a limited time only during their Black Friday sale. Use the link below and code ICU at checkout. If you don't know why a VPN is needed, here are just a couple of the endless use cases. VPNs help secure insecure networks. So you can do things like banking and logging into sites that contain sensitive information from even a coffee shop or hotel with more peace of mind. VPNs also let you access content on streaming services like Netflix that are restricted to specific countries. Super cool stuff. And besides all of the cutting edge features of Surfshark, they're our favorite here on the channel because they support a wide array of devices, as many as you have for a single subscription. Sign up now with the link in the description to save 83% and get three extra months entirely for free. All right, so first of all, I talked about Windows being harder to develop for. Let's get into a little bit more specific information. So we're switching to a semi-old tweet here from Jamie Bishop, who's actually an integral part of the Check Rain development team. He said, 
prior to Chuck Rain's first release, quote, a comment about Windows support. It's incredibly complex and much harder to achieve than most people would think. Ideally, all platforms would be supported for the first version, but that's unfortunately not going to happen. And in a prior tweet, he did say, rest assured Windows and Linux support are coming, but not initially. And you might be saying, okay, well, it's harder, but why is it harder? This is the specific info. Quote, Windows drivers don't give us the control we need to reliably perform the exploit, so someone's going to have to find a solution to that. So it's much more complex because of the way that Windows interfaces with the device itself when it's connected over DFU. They simply cannot reliably deliver that exploit, and the entire jailbreak is based around that single exploit, again, being checkmate. If there's no checkmate, there's no check rain. It's as simple as that. Now, let's talk about some semi-newer information coming actually this time from Luca Tedesco, the primary force behind Chakrain. This is coming from a tweet of his in response to someone with issues on a virtual machine, which again, he has confirmed that you cannot use a virtual machine or VM, which is essentially emulating Mac OS inside of Windows. You can't do it because it doesn't provide full low-level access to USB. So, he said, quote, Linux is partially working, just need a bit more work. Windows is non-trivial, but we're working on it pretty hard. So when he says non-trivial, that's a little confusing to me. It means not important. So when you read it this way, Windows is not important, but we're working on it pretty hard. It's kind of an oxymoron, right? I'm kind of unclear what he means by that, but uh, considering he says that they're working on it pretty hard and some of the stuff that Jamie Bishop has said and what they've actually said, on the official Checkrain Twitter account, um, it just leads me to believe that they are working diligently on Windows support, but it's just super hard based on what we've already talked about. And when we scroll down through this thread itself, which again, remember, is a little old, but the information is still relevant. Nothing new has happened, and we don't have any new public information for the development of the Windows utility. So Luca said, quote, different teams are working on both in parallel. So they have one team working on Linux, and they have one team working on Windows support. So that way, hopefully, they can also release them in parallel. And speaking of Linux, which I find pretty interesting, Luca himself actually said the following just the other day. He tweeted out, quote, finally got this damn USB controller to work, and it's a video of Checkrain running on a Raspberry Pi. Now, Raspberry Pi runs Raspbian OS, which is a distribution of Linux, essentially, that is specifically made for Raspberry Pis. And if you don't know what a Raspberry Pi is, essentially, it's a mini computer. It's a logic board or a motherboard that contains all of the necessary hardware to run a Linux-based operating system. And look how small this is, guys. This is the Raspberry Pi 0W, and this thing is just so, so very tiny. I mean, I could fit a number of them in the palm of my hand, and eventually, this thing is going to be able to run Checkrain, as we know from what Luca has tweeted out, and we also know that they are bringing it to Linux. This runs a Linux operating system, and they're specifically working on a version that can actually boot the device tethered, which is incredibly cool. I personally can't wait for that. It means that all you're going to have to do is plug this thing into a power source and then plug your phone into it over USB, enter DFU mode, and you'll be able to boot tethered. You should even probably be able to jailbreak it for the very first time too, which is just awesome. I can't even believe that. And the reason why we're even talking about it when we're mostly focused on Windows is because they're developing the two in parallel, hopefully to release them simultaneously. And he also said, quote, it's not fully done yet, but we're close. We had issues on the particular USB controller used by Raspberry Pi, and I found a workaround, but we still missed some minor details. And that was a few days ago. So hopefully Windows support is soon. The development teams seem to be mostly silent as far as that's concerned, which as we know from the past, that means they're working with their heads down and we should see something hopefully soon. Unfortunately, there's just no ETA. Jailbreak developers rarely work like that, and when they do give ETAs, as you guys even saw when Luca and the official Checkrain team gave an ETA for the first release of Checkrain, sometimes those ETAs can be delayed. New problems occur, and they can do so at the very last second. 
Hacker Pwn to Own also confirmed the exact same thing, and we've talked about that here on the channel a number of times throughout a number of videos. The last thing I want to talk about is a quick poll that the official CheckRain Twitter account held several days ago. They said, quote, is CheckRain 0.9.5 well working for you? And one of the answers was actually ETA Windows, and the vast majority of people who voted actually voted for that response. So they know that Windows is definitely needed and wanted by the community. Now that they have the security researchers covered with a permanent check rain jailbreak, their number one priority seems to be Windows. In fact, even over officially supporting iOS 13.2.3, because although you can still jailbreak iOS 13.2.3, the latest public firmware that was released this week, we have yet to receive an official update that allows check rain to run on it. See, this iPhone is running iOS 13.2.3. If we go to settings general about, you'll see that here. We are fully jailbroken, but because CheckRain itself has yet to be updated, you have to manually force it to run. And it seems like they're even putting Windows support as a priority over this. Of course, that's just what I think based on my own personal analysis, but stay tuned for additional information. I'm going to keep you guys covered and in the loop every single step of the way for this Windows jailbreak. I'm right there with you guys. I want everyone to be able to jailbreak who possibly can. And uh, yeah, like I said, stay tuned. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.